Now, when when Fatal passed, I met up with Edie, and we talked about the effects uh, of that that tragic incident. It's an unfortunate situation, man, because. You know what I mean? It's all losses, man. It's all losses. We lose somebody that was uh, a very strong member of our of our family, man. And, and, you know, a lieutenant, a general in this shit, you know what I'm saying? And, and working his way back from, you know what I mean? Some hard times and, and, and in and out of the system and shit, you know what I mean? Fatal was really, you know what I mean? Somebody's life who was, was taking a, a 180 right in front of your eyes, you know what I mean? If you've seen recent pictures of him, he was in tip-top shape, you know what I mean? He was on his shit, you know what I mean? Just trying to figure it all out. I didn't get to talk to the rest of you guys about it. Um, when you got the news that Fatal died in the car accident, how'd you guys take it? Well, I got the call from the coroner, you know what I mean? Like, that day, you know, it was, um, it was, it was crazy. Um, the, the girl, you know, when Fatal, ever, whenever I couldn't reach him, um, I would call her phone, you know what I mean? So, you know, when the when the car accident and all their phones was messed up and, you know, the, the little dog even died in the, crack, in the accident, she remembered my phone number and gave it to the car, you know what I mean? So I got the call from the Henry County coroners, you know what I mean? And um, I was just devastated, you know? I just dropped him off a couple of days before that. He was on his way to go bury his uncle in Jersey, you know what I mean? That, um... That they, the funeral was on, um, I think that Wednesday, and he died that Friday. So he had just drove up there, and um, I mean it was devastating, man. It was it was fatal. Was literally just getting to a point to he w where he could actually enjoy life, you know, going through all the street stuff, or, um, you know, arrested all the time, you know what I mean? And even his career, like you know, when he left the group back then, you know, when he got back with us, he was having a rough patch, you know what I mean? Like. It was just, you know, he wasn't making no rap money. You know, street money was dried up. He was like really out there, literally on the verge of death or being locked up. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, when I was working on the Tupac Rap Phenomenon project, right? they put me on the phone with Fatal to okay. see if he would get involved in it. Because, you know, Alicia Keys was involved and right. Buster Rhymes and Wyclef and all these people. Right. And we got on the phone and he just got mad and started yelling at me and, and everything. And I had to just get off the phone at one point. That was my one interaction with Fatal. Right. Yeah. And it just seemed like he was very angry during certain times he in his was. life. And that's what I said, the last years of his life, like a couple months before he died, he literally just finally got a passport. We was, we got a nice chunk of bread. He had to pay all his back child support. This dude literally just, you know, he was eating healthy, working out every day. Like, you know, this dude used to go fishing. Fishing. Every weekend, like he was like, he, he finally figured out like that street stuff, all the stuff we've been doing all these years, it, it, it didn't add up to anything, you know what I mean? So he literally was just beginning his life, you know what I mean, as a, as a grown man and as a responsible adult, you know what I mean? It, it was like, you know, I've been knowing him since we was kids. I was like real proud of where he was headed, you know what I mean? So it was devastating, man, devastating, yeah. still Same to here, this man. day. It was, um, you know, I got back in contact with Fadu through the Instagram. So like they said, he was fishing, he was working out, he was eating right. He was a whole new fatal. We was in contact. He was saying they coming to Dubai. You know, they said he was he was telling me he coming to Dubai with Edie and Noble. And at that but at that time, I was in the I was in Dallas in the summer, and I'm expecting to meet them all in Dubai. And Edie called me. You remember, huh? Mm -hmm. Edie called me in exact words like, "I hate to be the the bearer of bad news, but fatal just died." And I, I was shocked. You know what I mean? I was shocked because it was unexpected. But at the same time, it was, um, he at least like Noble said, his last days, he was living a good life. Yeah. You know what I mean? He was living a good life. Um, from what I knew, from what he told me, he accepted Islam, which made me even more happy. This is what he was telling me. Um, he stopped drinking, right? Smoking, eating right, fishing with his daughter. He was focused. So bro. it was, you know, this is, this is, this gonna happen to all of us, deaf. You know what I mean? So it was always sad. When we lose someone, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. You know? When you and I spoke last time, we talked about the situation of how Gaddafi got killed. Yes. Well, my cousin, um, I introduced Gaddafi to my cousin. I introduced them together, and they became friends. They, had, they started building their own relationship, even without me, you know? Um, at that particular time, 
it was known in New Jersey where a lot of youngsters was getting high off of pills. I'm not sure what type of pills they was taking, but they, everyone was dumping pills, you understand? My little cousin Roddy, he also never would leave, he always had a gun on him, you know what I mean? And imagine an individual who's not in his right mind, he probably was 13, 14, 15 years old, always high, playing with a gun, you know? He, he, he said that he was playing with the gun, pointed it in the face of Gaddafi, and the gun accidentally went off. I think Gaddafi died in November, if I'm not mistaken. October, November I left. 10th, yeah. October, I went to Atlanta. And I told Gaddafi, before I left, we need to get out of there. I think I got arrested, and I, I seen myself getting into some trouble. So I told Gaddafi, man, we need to get out. A lot of, a lot of, this stuff that Gaddafi did that I ain't really saying, I'm not going to say now. No, you, you that know, he, he, we ain't got to. You know what I mean? That he was, he was like, man, I saw him putting in some work. <laughs> and I was like, Gaddafi, was we need to leave. You yeah. understand? So he's like, no problem. Go to Atlanta. I'm going to meet you down there. I went, I got out of Jersey because Jersey, it was a very bad, tough situation. But before I left, I introduced Gaddafi to my little cousin. Gaddafi and my cousin, they used to like to pop pills. You know what I mean? This was a time where the youngsters in Jersey used to get high by popping pills. So they automatically clipped because they had something in common. Me, the only thing I used to do back then was drink. I wasn't into anything else. So they would hang all day, pop their pills, do what they had to do, and they was kicking it with each other. So it wasn't like my cousin took a gun to go to Gaddafi's house and to kill him. He always had a weapon on him. And not only that, my cousin told me they was playing. My, my friend Kaz had Gaddafi in a headlock. And my cousin pointed the gun at his face and it accidentally went off. That's enough. I don't see how an individual would shoot a gun while his friend is behind him holding him purposely. You understand? So when I spoke to my little cousin, I went to Jersey. And I spoke to my little cousin what happened. He told me it was an accident. Um, my grandfather met. I didn't even know that Set told me when I seen Set a few years ago that even before I met with my cousin, my grandfather met in a hotel with Set, with Gaddafi moms. Um, I don't know if Faye was there, but with Gaddafi family, with Set, and all of them was there. My grandfather was like, what do you want us to do with him? You understand? My grandfather said the same thing to Set and them. They said, well, we want him, Yak mother, Gaddafi mother said, well, we want him to turn himself in. And my grandfather said, well, at least give him one day to spend time with his kids, but I promise he will be in jail. So not only was myself telling him, man, just turn yourself in, my family was, wasn't was backing that. My family was supporting him to go turn yourself in. Yeah. You know he, what I mean? Well, when we found out Gaddafi had got shot, I, we was at um, a Fanny's house. We was on the, floor, on the floor asleep. I get the call from um, one of the homegirls that's, was a friend of Gaddafi's girl at the time, you know what I mean, and telling us. So immediately, you know, we knew what happened. She, she said he did it, they came to the house, they was in the hallway, and it was just like, you know, it was, it was just hard to believe the whole accident thing, because, you know, when, when it happened, you know, there was kids. They ran off, you know, and left. So when the girls opened the, heard the shot and opened the door, you know, he was just, he was there, you know what my I mean? Cousin, my, like my little cousin said, we was kids. He right. said when, I, when we shot him, that's, I didn't know what to do. That's the first time no, I ever shot somebody. Of course they're going to run. No doubt. So no he doubt. panicked and ran. You know what I mean? Immediately, though, when yeah. we get on the phone, you know, I'm like, who did it all this? You know, like Napoleon Cousin. It was just, it was crazy. He get on the phone immediately, like the same, probably the same day, he wound up getting in touch with his cousin and immediately was telling him to turn himself in. Yeah. It was yeah, just I like. I went to Jersey. No, I remember you. I remember yeah, you actually Jersey. got on the phone yeah. with him too, though, yeah. at the house. Yeah, you probably don't maybe, remember, maybe, bro. Yeah, you know, we were just know. talking about that. You know, he used to drink yes. every day, man. A lot the of Hennessy stuff. Hennessy be catching the up, Hennessy, man. man. Stealing some memories yeah. from we, we, Since we've just back, been back connected, we was talking yeah, about a lot yeah, of different yeah. things. He's like, I can't remember the Hennessy, but I don't remember that. Man. I remember he wound up talking to his cousin at, yeah. when we was yeah. at the house on the phone. Yeah. And you know, you was telling him to turn himself in, but that scenario was like. um it was the worst case scenario it was a nightmare. ever it you was, could think about. You yeah. got to think, he loved Gaddafi. Gaddafi was, um, w was, was my family as well. He was, you know, and it split us up. That's when Fatal left the group. Fatal called. He wanted to beef with uh, him. Fatal was looking for it, his cousin. It, it was difficult. It was like, it definitely when I was mean, sad. like that period yeah. was the worst ever. But you know, um, rest in peace, yeah. Gaddafi, man. That's our brother, man. And, and, and it was it, even his cousin. He was kids. He had to go. He got locked up. How long he did? It's like yeah, eight, eight, nine years, years man. Years. It was like right. so the it worst was, case scenario what, ever. Huh? Manslaughter, I guess. I think manslaughter. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, Gaddafi had two girls pregnant at the time. Yeah. He got two daughters that was born. He didn't even know he had. It was had. a sad situation. It was definitely. like, 
the worst scenario you could ever think of, man. And even you know for I mean? his mother, like, see, there's a lot of things that can make it point that can even put me in the situation from the outside looking in to where people would question where was my loyalty. You know, one, Gaddafi is my brother, literally. Like, I knew Gaddafi since I was seven, eight years old, so I feel he was my brother. My cousin Roddy, we was raised as brothers, you understand? So for me, at that particular time, I'm looking, how can we defuse this situation? Because it pretty much was going to be a war. You know, people from yeah. Gaddafi hood, people from my hood. When I went back home, I seen everybody striping up, people yeah. from Gaddafi hood. Calling my grandmother house, and I'm threatening from Gaddafi us. hood. You like, know they mean? was looking for his cousin at the time. And All the were, homies. It yeah, was, and it, it was, was going, going to go. Down. It, it could have went down. It you was know? going so down, man. I was going to go to the funeral, and Gaddafi mother, um, she called one day. Was like, "Don't go to the funeral. I think it's going to be problems." Right. But me, it's hurting because this is my friend and, right. and the coach. If you don't go to the funeral, that's going to. My cousin did it. Then I don't show up to the funeral. It's gonna even look worse. One of my problems. homies, this is when I this when I came at first I was gonna go, but this when I decided not to go when one of my friends said, No, we're gonna go to the funeral. Anybody say something to you, we're gonna pull out the gun and walk on my side. And I'm like, how can I have this <laughs> yeah, this right, ignorant that. stuff literally at the funeral of my homie? Yeah. So I said, you know what? I'm just I'm not gonna I'm a, I'm gonna sit back. And then that even came, oh, you didn't come to the funeral, mm -hmm. but I, crazy, my attentions, man. and I know the reason why I didn't go, but it, the whole situation was terrible. You know what I mean? I think that was a good decision. Yeah, so I, it was I'm, a great I'm glad decision. that I did it. Yeah. it, 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 it that something would have definitely happened, but yeah. that whole scenario, man, it was, it was just, it was, it was devastating it was sad, for everybody, yeah. man. Even to this day, you know what I mean? It's, yeah. Just talking about it, it's, yeah. it's just, you know. Well, Roddy, who, who did the shooting, he reached out to me. And he wants to do an interview, so we're gonna. I think you should give him a do chance the interview, to tell his side of the story. Combine it with, with sure. what you guys said, and I think you should let him piece. tell a story as well, man. Because at the end of the day, um, you know, we talk about it every once in a while when, when when people bring it up, and we tell the truth from from our perspective. And it's like at the end of the day, you know, um, it was Napoleon's cousin. He 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 talked to him. It was like it's an accident, but it's like you know, Gaddafi mom and you know his family, and you know. It's like nobody was, we wasn't, if you're not there to see it, you know what I'm saying? To say, oh, this was actually an accident. You know, Only God knows somebody's intentions in their heart. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it was just like, it was just but crazy. But me man. knowing my cousin. Right. <laughs> I don't know if you're trying to say he did it. No, I'm not trying to say that. <laughs> purpose, I'm not trying to say he did it on purpose. I'm saying that at the end of the day. Let him tell his side because exactly. nobody exactly. ever heard him come and, out and, and, and say, look, this is my intention. perspective, yeah. He didn't do it, you know what I'm saying? We loved Mu, we loved his brothers. Period. We had accepted them as family. So it wasn't like we was going to put him out on the street like, family nah. Family always had love. It always you know what I mean? And let's be clear, people and was that, trying to get us to turn on him absolutely. at this time. Yeah. On a daily you know basis. Saying? Like, absolutely. it was that crazy. Now, like, y'all mom situation. was like, very upset, you know what I'm saying? It was she, a bad situation. She still felt like, because this is yeah. a woman that was a part of the family for years, you know what I'm saying? And was friends with all of our mothers. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And and it was almost like I always say she's almost responsible for him being in the group. She is because yeah. she was the one that came to Pac and told Pac his story and used to tell us about him. And like he raps too. Y'all he would be perfect for the group. <laughs> yeah. You know she what I mean? She was on her A and R shit. Yeah, you know what I mean? She was my language. You yeah, know what I mean? Yasmin yeah. was on her A and R getting like, yo, yeah. he he would be perfect for the group because at the <laughs> time, time, you know, we was learning. Pac was formal formate formulating the group. It was me, Kay, and Gaddafi, and, you know, teaching us how to get in the studio and make songs. And, you know, he came right at that pivotal point where it was like, yo, y'all got to put up a shut up. You know what I mean? Pac was on us like, yo, if y'all don't start yeah. coming up with a little bit more than what y'all coming up with, man, y'all can go, you know, go to school or, you know, figure out your life. But I need y'all to put up a shut up. And Moo came to the group, and, and it was like glue when he came to the group. You know what I'm saying? He fit perfectly. I yeah. still remember when he came to the group. No, nah, it was, it know was what I mean? she definitely was responsible. Not Absolutely. saying that no you saying Roddy did it, but everybody have their emotions in this situation all over because this he knew Gaddafi his whole life. Gaddafi his cousin, his mother brung me around. So people angry and emotions are everywhere which you cannot you cannot um just throw aside of the what other people feel. Right. You understand? Everybody entitled to their own opinion, to their own feelings. I respect that. Mm -hmm. But me as an individual who know my cousin, I know my cousin, he's not going to just go kill someone for no reason. You understand? And for me, the love that I have for Gaddafi and the love that I have for my cousin, I'm glad that he turned himself in. 
And I'm glad that he manned it up and turned himself in. And knowing my cousin, especially back then, where a lot of people in our neighborhoods, we know coming from the street, people love to brag because they give them macho credit. Right. To say, yeah, I did it, what? He could have came home after his nine years and got stripes. But even to this day, no matter what, he say, no, it was an accident. He never went back on his word. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I do think it's a good idea to let him to um, interview him. But can I say something else, which another thing that taught me the value of real friendship and family, because you got to understand when my cousin killed Gaddafi, I was around all Gaddafi family as well, not only friends, but family. Um, Pac Moms is his aunt, his mother. I'm in a house alone, but they showed me the most, they showed me character. You understand? Because no one flipped on me. Even when people were saying things, move this, these brothers, they was taken up for me, the family was taken up for me. It showed me a side that I'd never seen that side of the ghetto life. Because <laughs> if it was my family, it would probably been crazy. Was, move, at the end of the day, yeah. um, you know, you wasn't responsible for that. You know what I mean? Like, when, but you know coming from the hood. Nah, without a doubt. You know I mean? Without it's a doubt. Nah, without a, a without a doubt. Without a doubt. It's, it's yeah. immediately, you know what? Sure. If we can't get the, the person who did it, it's, it's yeah. the family. You know how it goes. Yeah, you know what I mean? That's how the ignorance is. But at the know? end of the day, when we got the call, this man was on the floor asleep right next to me. You know what I mean? It, it, it's like, I can't turn on him. He didn't do it. He right here. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. It's, 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 trust me, I was getting pressure from all the homies. Fatal A body. Like, it's like, yo, this man, you can't hold this man responsible. It's like if my brother, you know, out sniffing all, going crazy and do something. Y'all going to blame me for it? You know what I mean? It's like in my heart. I, it, that just wasn't the thing to do. He didn't have nothing to do with that, man. You know what I mean? Right. And he turned this, 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 he had his cousin turn himself yeah. in. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like. Come on, man. We all hurting. This he loved Gaddafi, man. It's a lose you know lose situation. Yeah. Nobody wins. Like, lose, even lose, if we would have turned our back on on him, that that would that wouldn't have been a victory for us. You know what I mean? That'd have just been more pain and more hurt, and you know what I mean? More funerals. This you know was two months after Pac died, yeah, man. Was, we was yeah, all crazy, bro. We was yeah. all going crazy, Messed bro. Up. Yeah, I'm yeah. talking about. This was two months. Pac died September 13th. Gaddafi died November 10th, man. Yeah, it was crazy. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah.